Hey, this is Jared Hill, and today I want to unveil the Google Nexus phone to you, the Nexus One from Google, built by HTC. This is a beautiful phone. Very nice. Um, right out of the box, I was just impressed with this phone. Just looking at it, it is so sleek. One of the things that you're going to notice is how quickly it launches compared to other Android phones. Um, so as you can see, it's a very thin phone. Uh, we've got the camera on the back. Very sleek, metallic look. Uh, volume controls. We've got the uh, power button on the top. It is very iPhone. It feels very iPhone to me as far as the device. This is the closest Android phone to an iPhone as far as the look and feel of this device. Um, but that is a good thing. I know that a lot of people are going to say, oh, you know, it's a copy. People are copying. They're copying uh, the iPhone. But you know what? I don't care. I think it's great. So you're noticing that it's already launched already. It's got a very sleek, uh, sleek, professional looking design. Um, I can easily control my sound here or I can unlock the phone by dragging across. Um, I have my multiple widget panes, of course, with uh, different widgets built in um, up at the top. These are widgets we would have had to download before. I'm sure you have downloaded some of those widgets if you have an Android phone to do things like turning on and off Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and adjusting your brightness controls and everything. Um, those are things you had to download before and now they are built in to the device itself. Um, very cool looking phone just I mean it feels so futuristic to me especially when I'm so used to the iPhone and just what the iPhone is all about I mean this this device just I mean it really makes me want to use it and I'm an iPhone user since day one um, and most of you who who know me I, I run the daily app show uh, I play with more iPhone apps than most people will and probably in, in their lifetime um, and this phone is just blowing me away the Android market, which was the first thing I wanted to go and look at, is beautiful. I mean, look at the Android market. It is completely redesigned, and it just looks great. This facelift that it got was, of course, much needed. If those of you who have been in the Android market before, you know that it's just kind of, it's it's been kind of ugly. So let's go and download an app. I just want to show you how quick that process is. Tap install, hit OK. Uh, your item starts downloading and you can see up top here in our notifications it is already successfully installed. So that's cool. Let's clear my, uh, um, my alerts there. So I can go and view apps by uh, category, view all games. I've got all of my downloads here um, that are installed. I ran a, a backup really easily and it went and it just synced everything. Um, all of these apps that I had previously purchased uh, just synced right over on my phone. This is something that didn't take place previously. Um, you would have had to uh, you know find an application to handle that for you. The, uh, the pane here for the apps where you can view all of your apps is very nice. Uh, very nice and clean. Shows all of my applications right here um, that I can launch. I just simply I can scroll over them with the little wheel here um, or of course I could tap on them uh, with my finger. So um, let's, let's launch the Facebook app. I want to show you the, uh, the keyboard. So let's tap here, and we have the keyboard in portrait view. Um, obviously, it's a touch-only keyboard. There is no slide-out keyboard on this phone, which some people probably were worrying about because some of the other phones don't have to, uh, didn't do too good of a job with their, their keyboard. This keyboard, however, did do a great job. They did a great job with this keyboard. Um, if we rotate it around to the side uh, and tap again, we get our keyboard back in wide view and it just feels good. It feels really good for a keyboard on an Android phone and I have yet to have an Android phone have a keyboard that felt just really as good as the iPhone's keyboard to, uh, to me. So um, very 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 nice phone. I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my password. Of course I don't want uh, uh, you to see that. Alright, let's log in. Facebook so these applications here are really starting to look a lot nicer, of course, with the new Android version. I believe this is 2.1. Uh, it is just a, um, 
a very nice device. I can go and sync all of my data, I obviously with Facebook, um, <clears throat> into my uh, pre-existing contacts. Just a very nice, very nice device. Um, it was relatively easy to set up. All I did was throw the battery in it, threw the, uh, the little uh, SanDisk card out of my old phone into this one and slid in my SIM card from my uh, Samsung Behold 2 into this phone and it connected right away. Um, of course, there's more I will unveil about this phone in the future, but I just wanted to show you how beautiful it is and how nice it looks. Uh, it's just a great device. And um, is it is it worth the money? Uh, I don't know. It's you know five hundred and something dollars to go buy right out, or a hundred and seventy nine, I believe, with a um, uh, a new contract. But I do think that this is a great device and probably worth the money for those of you who really want a sleek, professional looking device that runs on something other than AT and T. So take care and make sure you check out my website, JaredHill.com. Of course, I will uh, be showing more about this phone in the near future.